Hey guys, um, I'm gonna show you this app called Teleport. That ring one. Alright, um, what Teleport is, is it controls your, um, screen. Like, I'll, I'll give you, I'll show you. And then I'll teach you step by step how to get it. Uh, Alright, so, um, I have two servers set up one Joseph and, um, uh, Joseph's MacBook Pro. And, um, Here's what my screen looks like. Now um, I can control my mouse. As you see on the screen, the mouse is now moving. Um, I can open up like Firefox. It just takes this a little bit longer to load. Like um, it's really nice though. And uh, yeah, there it is. Um, so yeah, I'm going to teach you how to get this app, where to get it from, and all that. Um, there will be a link in this video description, linking to download that will give you an IPA. And um, here's what it looks like. I um, open the folder up by just um, running it through Stuff It Expander. And um, there's teleport. Um, teleport will be in a folder called payload, like right there, payload. I just took it out, and um, you can drag that to the desktop if you want. This is for um, Macintosh. If you're on um, Windows, um, you're going to need to use another um, program that um, the other person who runs this account will make a video about soon. Alright, so now that you got the teleport.app, go to your CyberDuck and um, go to, hold on, go to private very um, var um, stash applications and just drag it in. Just take this app and drag it in. And um, then it will be there. And then you just need to set the levels. Um, but here, I will show you how to do that. Um, you're going to right click, um, go to info, and then just check off the first three, and then the top two, and then the last three. And just click apply. Um, and then, then you just have to reboot your iPod or respring whatever. And um, you see my screen updated. Yeah. And then um, the app should be there. And then you're going to go into your system preferences. Which, if I could find that, would be great. System preferences. And um, you're going to need to go to keyboard. Uh, nah. My bad. You're going to need to go to sharing. Uh, turn screen sharing on. Check that box right there. And then go to computer settings and set a password. Then um, just click OK. And then you're going to need another app called Teleport, which is also the app that you're getting. Um, hold on, I will also show you what that looks like. But on, um, in Teleport, there will be a README and uh, a Teleport Prefs panel. You want to just install that Prefs panel. Your, um, your system preferences will come up and it will just be install or whatever, deny. Just click install and then it'll go to this and then um you're gonna wanna click make sure both these boxes are checked then like automatic accept and then you know you can just mess around with this. Here's where you check for new updates. I have the most recent one and then um then you go on your iPod and um 
under there, if you're connected to the same Wi-Fi as your computer, then it should have your computer name, and then you just click on the arrow, and then you gotta enter in that password that you entered in before. If you don't have a password, then whatever. But then you just click on it, and um, then it, hold on, click, and then it should load up your computer screen. Like, we, I'm using my mouse. And um, also, if you want to like use a keyboard, oh, wait, let me get it so you can see it better. Um, like I just exited out of that. Um, if you want to use the keyboard, like for Spotlight, just click on Spotlight and then press the keyboard and you type something in, blah, blah, blah. And you can also do, like, commands, like, if I type a whole bunch of things in and then I go, oops, my bad. And then I go, like, the command key and then A it's going to be highlight all text or and then I hit backspace and then whatever or um command A and then command uh, what am I spell that? Oh. alright command A and then sorry it's hard to use and then like no spotlight come back Command C or uh, um, you can just do commands on it. Just take my word for it. And um, yeah, I mean, um, then you can customize it like um, rotate lock. I have no clue what that does. I think it's like uh, um. Cursor momentum, that means like if I were to throw my cursor over there, you see that it's still moving. Like, and I'm not touching the screen, like I'm just sliding across it. And then there's um, controls, which you have to keep on. Eh, nah. um, which are pretty much like keyboard, up, down, whatnot. So, those are pretty important. And show screen, which um, if you turn off, it just becomes like an external trackpad. Yeah, so um, uh, it's pretty fun after you get the, after you get like used to it, because it is pretty hard to get used to. So yeah, um. Thank you for watching. Uh, I believe the Windows one should be out soon. Um, uh, you gotta subscribe. Press the button over there. Rate this five star. Leave a positive comment, question, or leave a video response. And I will get back to you as soon as I can.